Greetings, this is Charles Darwin, and as you can see, I'm hugging a tree. This is a great big oak tree. It's a bur oak tree, Quercus macrocarpa. And some people hug trees because they get a lot of psychological benefit from it. What is it that is psychologically healthy about being around a tree, a big tree like this one? Well, it lives a long time, so it gives the feeling of permanence has a lot of strong wood, so it gives the psychological feeling of strength. You can understand why people admire trees like this. And from an evolutionary viewpoint, you would think that this is an example of a successful adaptation in the course of evolution. But actually, this is not the only path of success that trees have followed during evolutionary history. Take, for example, cottonwood trees. Now, cottonwood trees, although they can sometimes get this big, their lives are quite different. Cottonwood trees grow really fast. They have cheap wood. People build houses out of oak wood, but you never hear of people building houses out of cottonwood. The wood is cheap and weak, and the cottonwood tree lives, if it's lucky, about 100 years. Its adaptation, however, is just the right kind of adaptation for where it lives, because oak trees live in the upland forests, where conditions may be stable for hundreds of years. So it makes sense to invest in the future, to produce lots of strong wood, and live for hundreds of years. But that doesn't make sense when you live down by the river because down by the river, the waters flood every few decades, perhaps even more frequently. It wouldn't make sense for a tree to be able to live much longer than about 100 years. So the cottonwood type of investment, investing in a short life, cheap wood, produce a lot of seeds and then die, uh, is the, the adaptation that is best for cottonwoods, different from those for oaks. Evolution has produced a variety of different kinds of adaptations. No single one of them is correct in all circumstances. It really depends on what those circumstances are. Animal examples might be elephants live for a long time. They produce a few offspring that are large. Contrast that with mice, which don't live very long. They produce a lot of offspring and then they die. And both of them are equally successful for the particular type of life that they have evolved into living a long time versus living a short time. Neither one of them is superior to the other. What the process of evolution has produced is a diversity of different kinds of adaptations. This is Charles Darwin, hugging a tree. Oh, wait, okay, that's not poison ivy, that's just trumpet creeper. This is Charles Darwin, tally-ho, and I'm in.